Hi, today I'm taking inventory of my baits and decided to do a review of the best pike baits of the past year. I will also give a little preview of what I have planned for the next year. I'll start with hard baits. Last year I probably used hard baits a little less than I wanted. This was probably due to the fact that I was basically fishing in deeper lakes. I would point out this lure from shallow minnows. It worked very well in the spring. This lure is from China. I won't give you a link, sorry. I don't have it anymore. And by the way, lures from China are not very reliable. One can be good, the other bad. These hard baits really work good for me. They catch well, and they worked well last spring too. Among the deeper ones, I would single out very similar model. I have shown this lure before. It really is so legendary for me. Usually what happens with hard lure, that the one you like the most is the one you use the most. And it is clear that it catches the most. But in any case, the lure is working and catches really well. Last year, I think maybe it caught the biggest fish. Another minnow is the Pantoon Greedy Guts MDR, a slightly deeper diving lure. This lure is new, because last year I tore off my good old one and drowned it. It's a shame. I hope that this one will catch as well. By the way, it happens that you buy the same lures from the same company, but they can behave a little differently in the water and accordingly catch pike better or worse. This is because they can't always make exactly the same lures. Something is slightly different. Somewhere may be more weight. Somewhere the tongue is cut differently and it moves differently. Here is one of the theories. I don't know. There may be other theories. It can be that in old lure there is smell of blood that attract fish. Among the deeper ones, I might single out this one. Here, if I'm not mistaken, is a bomber copy. Regarding deeper ones, last year I tested just a few lures, I used them once or twice, I only caught a few fish. So this ranking is not very correct. But this lure has already shown good results in the past, and I really like to use it in deeper waters. And from the hard baits, I will definitely point this little one this is biggest discovery of mine last year. I tried to use it for perch, but it turned out that I caught a lot of pike and quite a considerable pike, which was very surprising. This is definitely a find of last year and a great lure. I have no idea what kind of company it is, but it has quite a deep dive. It has a bit of sound and somehow the pike really liked it in the summer. Well, that's probably it with the hard bites. Let's move on to the silicone baits. The following models work well as smaller lures. Here again, someone's Chinese copies, most likely Savage Gear. There will be more. Almost all probably Savage Gear copies, but I'm not sure. To these baits I would add Wesson, also a small lure of a similar size which caught quite well. But I also tore off somewhere in the grass, and I don't have to show it at the moment. It was really fun fishing with these lures in the last spring. Used it for casting, and also for trolling near shore, in shallow waters. Last year it worked out very well. From the twisters, I used this old discovery of mine again. This lure doesn't always work. There are days it does not catch at all, and other days it is the only one who catches. This is my secret weapon that I use when nothing else catch, and there are days when it really works quite well. It also looks like a copy of Savage Gear. Among the bigger ones, I would single out this one. Must be also Savage Gear. This one natural, and this bigger one worked also very good. Not for everyone it can seem big, but it caught really well. 
natural colors were best last year. I don't know why, maybe because I was fishing mostly in clear waters. I think I caught a bigger pike with this one. These would be my favorites this year. What else? I would like to show the lures, which I bought at the end of the season and I really like them. I will surely try to use them next year. Both of these performed well. Catching fish quickly moves very nice underwater. I have high hopes for this and will definitely try them next season. I also have some new baits I am already preparing for the next season. But I will talk about it maybe at the very end. Now I want to finish talking a little about the spoons. Again, I didn't use the spoons as much as I wanted. I was fishing, but not so much to try everything. So spoons have been slightly forgotten this year. But I like the way they work. I caught a few pike. I have three similar spoons, similar size, but somehow I can't find them. That's all I have to show you. I will definitely try them next year. They can work in slow speeds. Their shine is great. I really think this is worth having. I tried to use them for trolling in the beginning, but they were thrown off their work and rose to the surface. You can only try this in shallow waters. When there are different depths, somewhere very deep, somewhere shallow, it is also more difficult with spoons. They have certain weights, and it is easier with silicone lures to change different weights you put and catch faster. But one day I will only take spoons with me and try to catch only with them. This is the best way to test baits. That would probably be it, about my best pike lures of the past season. And now a few words about new lures, which I am preparing and planning for next year. This is the first miracle. Here is the twister below. It is connected with such a shiny thin fiber. Everything should have looked like this. But this is my first model, I made it myself, and that fiber do not look very well. But it is possible that it will level out when pulling in water, I need to test and watch. I don't know if that bait will catch fish, and how it looks underwater. Usually, I take a lure, and test it by the boat, soak it, and if I like it and believe in it, then I fish with that bait. It will be exactly the same with this one. I will test it, watch it, and try to surprise the pike. I like experimenting with something, especially making something myself. It's double the fun of catching it later than using a lure made by someone else. And the other new lure is this big bait. I can't wait to try it. I have been preparing for it from last year. This is serious lure, weighs approximately 70 grams. I will definitely try this. This probably won't be the bait for every day. But again, I think it would be fun to do some tests, make more engaging videos. One downside is that I may have to buy more heavy fishing rod. This thing is heavy and it will not be easy to throw. Well, I'll probably make some more new lures before the start of the new season. It will be fun to do. And that's all for today. I hope you liked the video.